you had a talk on um, stemi management and pharmaco invasive approach in the csi so would you uh, i'd like to ask you sir how commonly you see these stemi patients in the eastern part and how, how big is the incidence here right i mean the, the st segment uh, elevation myocardial infarction is like any other part of the world is not uncommon even in the eastern part of india we do come across cases every night every day at least i would say 5 to 6 sometimes even more of acute st segment myocardial infarction it is a big concern because as we all know that nearly 20% of these patients are not being treated properly because of a number of reasons one is the recognition of the problem timely arrival to the hospital then therapeutic options and of course the management uh, and the complication of the case because if they are not being properly treated if they are not being uh, adequately recognized and reach the hospital right on time then complication increases mortality increases an outcome becomes worse right sir you spoke about the timely arrival so we have seen earlier the re create registry uh, published from the country also where the fmc was almost 5 hours so do you see there is an improvement nowadays yeah improvement in the sense that uh, we uh, we have been traditionally practicing and traditionally understanding that in st segment myocardial infarction the door to balloon time has to be minimized but there is a practical problem i mean not only in kolkata not only in eastern india not only in india but i think globally that right on time to take the patient to the lab is not as simple as it is being said there are a number of factors which are involved at the patient's level at the doctor's level at the transport level even at the hospital the availability of the mm -hmm. right kind of staff cath lab so many issues are there so uh, in india generally uh, of late we are actually trying to treat these patients with initial thrombolytic therapy and then later on uh, while the patient is on thrombolytic therapy we try to transfer the patient to the hospital this is a scenario even in the city area but we have to also say that large number of these patients are even in the non uh, urban areas there is no facility of cath lab so forget mm -hmm. about taking them to the cath lab to reduce the door to balloon time because they don't do not have any access to the cath lab for sort of a primary angioplasty so i personally believe and i reckon that this group of patient if they are being treated adequately right on time by newer thrombolytic agent like tenecteplase then the advantage of that tenecteplase can be administered right on time even at the, at the at the patient's house even in the ambulance at the door of the patient and after that uh, you can transport the patient wherever the uh, cath lab facilities are available or tertiary care facilities are available one of the important determinant of prognosis and outcome of STEMI patient is a thrombotic burden of acute coronary syndrome and tenecteplase in particular has been shown to reduce this thrombotic burden as you reduce the thrombotic burden you can actually bring the flow back to the target vessel therefore when the restoration of the blood flow comes in then the chances of complication and chances of salvage improves uh, and complication reduces and salvage and improves and the outcome becomes better that is definitely Uh, a, a, a case in my personal practice i find that a good number of patients were relatively young and they got an uh, sort of acute heart attack which is a stemi and they have been treated with tenecteplase either by the family physician or even at a sort of a tertiary or secondary level hospital by tenecteplase as a thrombolytic therapy and they are younger patients they do not have any other risk factor maybe some of them were di mildly diabetic some of them were smoker when they are brought in to the hospital they when they are hemodynamically stable maybe next day when we took the patient to the cath lab you will be surprised that one third of this population actually had complete recanalization of the artery which minimized the requirement of stent requirement of any further medication so therefore th we need to have more understanding of how this subgroup of patient who are being treated with thrombolytic therapy like tenecteplase may have a different outcome altogether and one third of this population especially those who are young may not need a, any further intervention like angioplasty or even further more bypass surgery so i personally feel that the new thrombolytic therapy like tenecteplase in the stemi care management as a pharmacoinvasive therapy would be of paramount importance in the management of stemi perhaps in our country more so where there is about 70% of the population are still living in an area 
where there is no facility of cardiac cath lab, no facility of having tertiary uh, healthcare center. Right, sir. So, as you said, sir, rightly, the tenectomy plays it actually improves the TME grade flow and it's a very useful drug, the third generation thrombolytic agent. But we still see the usage of first generation streptokinase is much wider in the country. So, what's your opinion, sir? Why do you see this change? Why people are not going for third generation thrombolytic agents? That is probably for two reasons. One, of course, many people think that the cost wise, tenectomy mm -hmm. may be a little expensive as compared to the streptokinase. One, I think much more than the cost, what is perhaps much more important is the awareness that tenetoplase is a drug which is a single dose therapy, uh, given, can be given without even any monitoring, can be given at home, can be given in an ambulance and can be given by, by a family physician. I think once these messages, it, it go to the community, particularly at the primary physician's level, right. that is the simplicity of the use, the benefit is far more. and. The, uh, the complication is less, it doesn't need patient to be monitored. Once these messages are clearly communicated to the primary physician, then I'm sure the utility and usability of the newer generation of thrombolytic therapy like tenetoplase will increase and if it increases, then the, the restoration of the blood flow to the distal circulation uh, will be less, will be improved, will, will be better and thrombotic burden to the infarct related artery will be less. Of course, at a later stage, patient would require angioplasty or further revascular, revascularization depending upon the coronary artery anatomy. Right, sir. So, what would be your concluding remarks on your talk? Concluding remark is that we know that in acute myocardial infarction, particularly in STEMI, uh, primary angioplasty is the cornerstone of therapy. But in given a situation where there is no access to cath lab, given a situation where the afford, uh, situation where the manpower would be an issue, given a situation where the uh, accessibility of the patient to the tertiary care center is not easy, tenetoplase place uh, must be considered and I personally feel that pharmacoinvasive therapy in STEMI care management, uh, it has an immense role uh, to play in STEMI uh, treatment in India. Uh, more so, not only in India alone, in those countries where there is a huge population, lot of you know traffic, lot of delay for no obvious reason of taking the patient from home to the hospital and to the cath lab. Right, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you Thank for joining. You. Right. I mean, the, the ST segment uh, elevation myocardial infarction is like any other part of the world is not uncommon even in the eastern part of India.